My name is Professor Sanctuary, and I would like to show you a few examples of the material in my physics ebook. It is aimed at those starting to study physics from the high school to the college level. There's a lot to show, and I can only show you a bit here. I will give examples of special relativity, electrostatics, gravity, maybe kinematics or projection motion. I've turned, let's go to one of the, sec of the sections, special relativity. Notice that I've toggled off the voice. The reason I've toggled off the voice is because there are voice comments integrated into the programs, and that would interfere with my voice overlay at the particular time. Notice at the side here, there are extra buttons. There's a button which gives a quiz at the end of the program so you can test your knowledge of what you've just gone through. There's a word search, and if you find a word or particular phrase, you can go to the page and look at what it says. There is also a notepad, your own personal notepad, that records your comments that you can refer to later. There's also a table of contents, and there's a button that takes you back to the beginning of each particular section. You can also go back to the, uh, to the main page, which lists all the topics. Let's go back again to special relativity and notice that there are various utilities. Here's a utility which gives you the calculator. This calculator is useful for, for making calculations. We have a periodic table. The periodic table gives information about the various atoms. We have a glossary. The glossary is important. For, it gives you the definition of various words. For example, paramagnetism. Or over here we have SI units. And we have different, um, different and you can also search for a word in the glossary. Under, the, under um, preference references, there's a lot of information here. You can find information about the binomial equation, derivatives, expansions, geometric formulas, integrals. Over here you've got thermodynamic data, tables on acidity, and bond energies, constants. For example, you've got the fundamental constants here. You've got the Greek alphabet. You've got the physical units. Uh, you've got unit conversion from one unit to the other. Uh, you've got um, prefixes that are useful when you're using scientific notation, and you have the definition of the SI units. Well, there's a lot of material there. Let's go back to the main menu and hope that you can start by looking at some of the examples that I've chosen.